Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George and I'm a registered Indian patent agent. So if you are coming to my channel for the first time, well, I create videos about IPR and patent related topics. So in today's session, I will be covering about how to conduct patent search in IP India website. Now IP India website is actually the official intellectual property website of India and where you can find uh, every information related to IPs available in India, whether it's patent, trademark, designs, copyright. Okay, so uh, this, this session will be basically useful for uh, inventors who want to check the Indian patent applications or granted patents that are available with related to a specific technology or invention. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to open the IP India website, the link is ipindia.gov.in. Okay, so you can put that in the uh, search web, searching tab. And once you click on it, so this is the uh, home page of IP India website. So as I said, you know, you can find details related to pat patents, designs, trademarks, geographical indication, and then every detail. So in fact, the news and updates uh, that come are presented here. So once you are at this home page, and if you want to check the patent searching link, then you have to first go to e-gateways. So once you click on e-gateways, you will be directed to this page. And here, if you see, you can see this public search option. And below that, you can see patents. So since we are conducting search on patent, we have to click on patent here. So there is this, uh, you know, this notification that you are about to proceed to an external website. Click OK to proceed. So just click on yes. Yeah. So this is actually the uh, web page for conducting searches on Indian patent applications. Okay. So you can see a lot of options here. Uh, now I will just explain you what each of this option is. So first of all, you, what you're seeing is, you know, there are two things, uh, one is published and one is granted. So if you want to specifically look for granted patents, you can, you know, just click here. But if you're looking for general, you know, including the patent applications, which are not granted, then you can just uh, tick mark the published sections. Now, the first option you see here is application date. So application date is useful if you want to search for patent applications within a specific date range okay let's say if i want to check for patent applications that are filed from 1st jan 2000 to 1st jan 2022 so you can see the from date right so in from date we'll put the date 01 slash 01 slash 2000 and to date we'll put 01 slash 01 slash 2020 once you enter the date you can go down and there you see a captcha code entering uh, option so you will just you just have to put uh, whatever the captcha is and then click on search so you can see you know, the total number of documents that have been shown are 597,271 documents and these documents are filed between the dates that we entered so you know uh, that was first jan 2000 to first jan 2020 so uh, every application that is mentioned here will be within that specific range you know it won't be outside that specific range so this is how you can use the application date option we'll go back and then again you know there are the option of publication date date of grant priority date so if you want to let's say find applications which are published within a specific range date range then you can put choose this option and then you can accordingly change the dates okay so that is the first field now i will remove these dates now uh, if we go to the second one and we'll just click on the drop down list you can see there is option of title abstract complete specification application number a lot of details right and in fact, if you go down below each one of this, you know, all of this contain almost the same options. So how do you use it? Well, see, let's see. Uh, here they have given an example of please enter title. So let's say we want to 
find period applications related to traffic light. So I will just put here traffic light and I'll put the CAPTCHA code below WQPLP and I'll hit on search. So it is showing me total documents 7144. Now what does it mean? So there are 7144 patent applications that in which the title includes the term either traffic or light. So yeah, so when we are putting two words uh, in the searching option, searching uh, box, so in this case we put traffic lights. So what this, you know, this uh, search engine does is it finds out those titles which includes any one word from that two phrases that we have entered. So since we enter traffic light, so it will check for either traffic or light in the title of the patent applications in its database. So if you see the second option here, you can see both words, traffic and light are there in the title. Okay. But if you see uh, this application, you can find that only traffic option is there. And in this option, only light is there. So that is how it is finding. Okay, now I'll just go back and let's say, uh, let's say I want to, you know, I want only those applications in which in whose title traffic light right both of these words are there so how can i find it so i can use uh, double quotes for it now if you see i'm putting traffic light in double quotes and then i'll click on it. and then i'll enter the captcha and i'll click on search so you see the results have reduced uh, so in earlier case we had found 7000 titles 7000 applications but in this search, we have just got 61 results. But then all of these titles include both of the terms, traffic light. Okay, so this is how you can restrict your search. Because, you know, uh, when you're conducting search, it may be possible that the titles that include light without traffic may not be relevant to you, right? So you can restrict your search by using both of these words in double quotes and accordingly you will find results which includes both of these words. So that makes your search a bit more accurate. Okay, now I'll go back. I'll remove these term traffic light. There's also one way of doing this. Uh, no, so this is one, one, this was one way. Another way of doing this is I can put both of these terms in another boxes, separate boxes, but then I have to choose here title as well. So now if you understand what happened here is, so you see we chose title here in the search field and then we enter the title as traffic and then these are separated by AND operator. And then again in the next one we have entered title, selected title, entered light, so what is happening is it will search for those references where in which you know the title includes both traffic and light. Now if I conduct search again, see we are getting 61 results. So this is also one way of doing it. Okay, now I'll go back. I hope this is clear. Okay, now I'll show you another thing. So this was with restriction to title, right? Now, let's say we want to find those patent applications where the term traffic light might not be there in title, but it might be there in the description, right? So in that case, we can choose complete specification option here and we'll put traffic light under double quotes here and then we'll enter the captcha code as displayed and click on search so now we have 12485 results so what does it mean so it means that the term traffic lights are there in 12485 patent applications where the traffic light is mentioned in the description part so it's not restricted to uh, title so it might not be there, the term traffic light might not be there in title, but it might be somewhere there in the description. And that is how 
it has shown these many results okay so let's go back again so i'll remove traffic light from here so these are uh, you know text option so title is a text option where you are entering text abstract is also a text option complete specification is also a text option so this is how you can either you know uh, make your search narrow or you can broaden your search now there is an option of application number publication number patent number so i'll show you an example of application number so this is for maybe you know uh, this can be used by inventors or it professionals who already have an application number and they want to find out that they want to just you know uh, dig out the details of that specific patent application so how do you do that so for the sake of simplicity you know first we'll just take an application number so i'll quickly put this same example of traffic light and we'll just you know uh, find out one application okay so let's say we'll, we are taking this one an iot driven and ai enabled real time traffic light so you can see this is the application number now let's say you already have the application number okay and you just want to find out the details of that patent application so i'm just copying it here and now we'll go back okay so we'll remove traffic light here now in that case what you can do is you can use the option of application number so here is application number you can if you can just you know put the application number which you already have so we have just put here the one which we you know found out from the initial patent search and we'll put the captcha code and we'll click on search so you see it has shown us that specific patent application for which we already had the application number so this is useful when you already have the application number the same is the case for publication number so in case you don't have the application number but you have the publication number then you can choose the publication number uh, field here and then you can put the publication number of that specific application okay now i'll show you another example of applicant name so applicant name is basically the individual or the startup or the you know small business or the mnc whoever has applied for that patent okay now uh, we can take the example of maybe bajaj auto so let's say i want to fi find out the patent applications uh, which are filed by bajaj auto so i'll just put bajaj auto in double quotes here and i'll put the captcha code and i'll click on search okay so i have found 176 applications here and if you want to check if they actually belong to bajaj auto you can just click on the application number and you know yeah if you go here you can see so the applicant for this specific application is bajaj auto limited okay so accordingly all these applications which are mentioned here they are from bajaj auto so we'll close this and these are indian app indian patent application right it's not covering the applications which are filed outside in other countries whether it's us or europe these are all indian applications and these are specifically those applications which include the term bajaj auto in their applicant name if they have used uh, just bajaj you know it might be possible that the, the, that patent application is not mentioned in that list so this is uh, bajaj or this was the example of applicant name so uh, then you can also check for uh, inventor name so if you know about who is the inventor if you already have the details of the inventor you can select this field and put the inventor name and then you will find all the applications which that specific inventor has filed right so these are the search field options now there's also one more thing so so one thing is you know what i showed you is the individual kind of a search 
but then you can also use multiple options together to make a better search. Let's say, uh, I'll just use the examples I mentioned. So let's say I want to search for applications related to traffic lights, but within a specific date range, right? So earlier, if you remember, when we conducted the search for traffic lights, we did not put any date range. So the result we got was around 12,000 something. So now what we'll do is we will search for uh, inventions or build applications related to traffic light within the date range from 01, uh, 01 2000 to 01 slash 01 slash 2020. So this is what the date range we used in our first search, right? And now we'll use traffic lights. Okay, so let's now search what, what is the result. Okay, so see the result that we have got now is 7,928. So the result has reduced. Now, I hope you understood why it, why it reduced because earlier we just searched for uh, paint applications where traffic light was there in the complete specification. But now what we did was we searched for paint applications which had traffic light in their description in the specification, but within a specific date range. So now we'll again go back. Okay, so this is how you combined both of these search strategies. Okay, now let me tell you how we can further combine it. So, okay, now let's let's see if, you know, keeping both of these searching uh, options, let's see if we want to find out if Bajaj has any kind of with applications related to traffic light which is filed within the specific date. So how will we do that? So now we will we will keep it these two options as it is and now we'll use the applicant name here and in applicant name we'll put Bajaj. Or we'll use the word Bajaj auto only. Okay, and now we'll put the capture code. And click on search. So see, you know, we there are some brand applications which are filed by Bajaj and includes the term traffic light in their specification and which is filed within the specific date range. So there are four documents like that. And that is what we have found here. So, you know, we can just, so as you can see the date this was filed in 2014 so it is within our uh, specific date range and now if you want to check the applicant is Bajaj Auto I'll just open this one yeah so you can see this was uh, filed by Bajaj Auto Limited and if you go further in the description you might find the traffic light term also so that's how you can uh, restrict yourself so I'll just close this tab Okay, I hope uh, this has made a lot clear about how you can use the Indian patent searching website to find Indian patent applications related to a specific technology or an invention. Okay, so you can uh, play around with these options and then accordingly try different search strategies for finding the patent applications uh, that you for uh, for which you are searching. Okay, I hope uh, this session was useful. So that was it in this session. If you have any uh, doubts related to this session, please feel free to uh, comment and I will respond to it. You can also text me personally and I can reply to whatever your doubts or confusion is. So thank you. Uh, please keep following and uh, we'll again upload more videos on IPR and patient related topics. Thank you.